all in all, you'd have to say it's been a pretty good week for Marvel and the MCU. I mean, heck, Deadpool and Wolverine was released this past Thursday. And at Comic-Con, which began Thursday at Hall H, they had a panel where about 6,500 people got to watch the movie as part of the panel in Hall H. In fact, they even passed out the popcorn buckets that mighty hard to get a hold of right now. I wish I could have got a hold of one this weekend. Um, then you have Saturday night, Hall H, San Diego Comic-Con. And um, rather big announcement. In fact, there's been some rumors swirling for the past few weeks about the Russos possibly being back in the Marvel fold, that the Russos are going to be the ones to uh, be behind the creative between the, ne the next Avengers movie. And um, needless to say, some people are excited. And why people are excited, it's not just because of the Russos. It's because RDJ, Robert Downey Jr., is back. He's back, but not as Iron Man. He's going to be back playing Victor Von Doom, a.k.a. Dr. Doom. Now, a few thoughts. Um, you know, Marvel's been down, to say the least, the past few years, ever since, really, Endgame. Um, they just can't seem to get out of their way. Or I should say their own way. And Deadpool and Wolverine. Yeah, it's a huge hit. It's going to be a moneymaker for Marvel. But Deadpool and Wolverine's not going to save the MCU. Nothing's going to change outside of this, for lack of a better term, a blip in the Marvel Universe. Um, have an RDJ come back. Sure, it's exciting, but are we looking at another situation where we have a character or, or somebody that's going to play two different characters in the same universe? I mean, I get it. Josh Brolin in the MCU, he was Thanos. But when it came to the Fox properties, which are now Disney properties, he was Cable. So is this going to lead to some confusion? Maybe. So this article here is from the direct. Marvel Comic Con audience's crazy reactions to Robert Downey Jr., Doctor Doom, and Avengers 5. San Diego Comic Con announcements. So Marvel Studios did not hold back in revealing tons of MCU surprises during this year's Hall H panel at San Diego Comic Con. After being absent last year's edition of SDCC, Marvel Studios returned to Hall H with several updates about their upcoming movies. Namely, Captain America, Brave New World, Thunderbolts, and Fantastic Four First Steps. Why do you have to call it First Steps? Why not just call it Fantastic Four? A fresh wave of exclusive footage from the said movies was shown to attendees. But the main highlight was the Avengers theme announcements that set the stage for the conclusion of the multiverse saga. Watch fans go crazy at Marvel Studios Avengers 5 and 6 announcements. So, newly announced Avengers Doomsday. It's no longer Kang Dynasty. With all with all everything that happened with Jonathan Majors, who played Kang. Um, not a surprise, not a shock that they went in a dire different direction. Then we have Avengers Secret Wars. Joe and Anthony Russo gave attendees at Marvel's Comic-Con Hall H panel a massive surprise by officially confirming Robert Downey Jr.'s MCU return as Doctor Doom in the next two Avengers movies. So here we go, folks. Here we go. Going to play this little clip here. He's in the Marvel, Marvel multi universe. universe. We, we give, give you the, the one, one person, person who could play, play a character Von Doom. Von Doom.
And of course, the crowd goes wild. I mean, yeah, RDJ's back. Begs the question, is he going to be the savior of the MCU? I mean, people know him as Iron Man. Now, I get it. I did a little looking last night, a little digging, and yeah, there is a Marvel Universe where Iron Man becomes Doctor Doom. Is that what's, is that what's going to happen here? Where Iron Man Tony Stark becomes Doctor Doom? Are we going to finish the multiverse stuff by having a multiverse Tony Stark? Being Dr. Doom? I mean, those are questions. Uh, comment down below. If you know the answers, I'd love to hear them. Because while I'm not up on the comics as much as I used to be back, you know, 20, 25 years ago, um, I am pretty up on, you know, what's going on as far as the movies. So here's what RDJ had to say. So there you go. Now, um, not everybody's on this bandwagon. In fact, Robert, this is from Forbes. Robbie, Robert Downey Jr.'s casting as Dr. Doom sparks backlash. Somewhat confusingly, Downey Jr. is not playing Tomb as a twisted multi multiverse variant of Tony Stark. He is Victor Von Doom. Well, that answers my earlier question. The comic actor, accurate character, a brand new addition to the MCU. Online fans reacted with bafflement and mockery. Many expressed disappointment that Doom, a hugely popular villain, had seemingly been wasted over a casting gimmick. Others jokingly predicted that Marvel's version of the X-Men were going to be played by the Avengers. One ex-user managed to predict Downey Jr.'s doom via a sarcastic post that was poking fun at Marvel's desperate nostalgia. Another commenter noted that even Reddit was unimpressed by the casting. So we know Kang's out, doom is in. The surprise casting comes in the wake of Deadpool and Wolverine's strong opening weekend and positive fan reaction from fans. Fan reaction from fans? Wow. The Marvel film pokes fun at unpopular MCU multiverse storylines and ironically mocks the idea of nostalgia casting. While boasting a solid performance from Hugh Jackman as multiverse variant of Wolverine. For Kevin Feige's MCU, it appears that nostalgia is more than just a punchline. The glorious heights of the past seem to be the future for Marvel Studios. So what do you guys think about this casting of RDJ? Uh, comment down below. Tell me what you think. While you're at it, please take the time to smash that like button, subscribe to the channel. Hit that notification bell. Share this video out there with your friends and family. And with that, I will see you guys later.